did it and some weed. Uh, great weed, my way. Um, hey, I'm me and Tesco. Hey, I have no review. Well, the button with my Jeff John, uh, well, Joe Johnson, Wilson, Tom, Tom King, Jerry Bayback, and oh, uh, Peter. That's right, guys. In honor of Doomsday Clock coming out tomorrow, I say, well, to reread the button and. I would say I love the of the trade. It's amazing. And put the color. It's so awesome. So you get fucking Batman. <laughs> yep. So you want to on this on this great 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 crossover. FYI, this is be making the spoilers because well, I don't want to talk about the thing I need to spoil. So so with this, folks. Anyways, all right. Um, I just want to interact with you. Tell you we we love this um this book. Why? You're fine. Um, what's the bigger plot of the button? Um. The next pivotal chapter of DC Rebirth. Yep. Um, an unseen force has been manipulating our world. Yep. The one clue they left behind is a strange blood yellow button. Where did it come from? Who left it here? The button could, e could easily A, be the most important object in just not just our world, but in every world, in every world. Mm -hmm. Which is why the, which is why the red flash will kill the possessed it. Yep. Um, when the button is stolen by Reverse Flash, Batman and Flash follow his trail to a parallel world. Yep. A world, a twisted alternate timeline that shouldn't exist. Someone is sending the heroes on a bizarre trip through, through reality, showing them glimpses of fallen loved ones and forgotten friends. But, and here's the kicker, but who? Why West won the flash of an unseen force influencing our world? Destroying the, the history, pulling the strings, watching all, and, and the strange yellow bank could be the key to finding the truth. Mastermind manipulating the bank will be exposed in a DC and it'll be the same. That's a big part in that show. But again, it's Batman Flash trying to figure out what this button is and a red flash. Well, get, bring a red flash. Alright, that's a big part in that show. All right. Now going in in, in this this story, um, why first read the story way way back when it first came out? And should I would have said uh, and uh, after we read this entire story, what's my conclusion? I love this story. This story is like holy shit. All right. Um, let's let's get to that Let's get to Batman and well, Flash. Batman in my opinion is really really great. I really love Batman. But when you see it with a Flash show up, kick Batman's ass. Holy shit, it was awesome! Like, wait, boy, because I hate to say it, and you have to go to Scott Snyder, it's like Tom King actually gets Batman because Scott Snyder's Batman, yeah, I just got a negative on Scott Snyder's this one. Um, Scott Snyder's Batman would have been well, yeah, I'm prepared for anything, I could beat anybody, which, and this book proves that Batman can't be anything because the reverse flash, well, he's a reverse flash, right? To, to all the Batman fans who claim that, eh, hey, Batman can be anybody if you get prep time. Wrong. This book proves in general that, that, that Batman is not prepared for everything. Yep. Um, uh, what, 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 all of it's sec by, um, Jason Fabad and Howard Porter. Um, the Ark Mind is really great. I really love the artwork. The, um, first, first part is the Batman artist, Jason Fabad, who is awesome. And the second artist, um, is, um, well, the Flash artist, uh, Harry Potter, and both art teams are really great. I really love the art team. The art team is gorgeous in this book. It's amazing. It's been a red Flash artist that kicked Batman's ass, which is pretty cool. Um, speaking right now, I think after the story. The story itself, I didn't remember before, it interesting because it picks up where, I, where DC Weaver one shot left off and sets up the stage of Doomsday Clock. Which I'll, I'll get to the music card in a minute. But um, what to say, the writing by both, both Tom King and well, Josh and William is amazing. I really love the writing between both parties. Both parties might be new what they're doing, and it, it's amazing. It's, it's, better, it's better with Batman and Flash trying to the time stream. Speaking of it, John, you're probably wondering at the, like, Tabby, why are you talking about the whole hyper time stuff? I'll get to that part in a minute. Well, what to say, it's really cool, I think, when, when you get to see the, when you go to Watchtower. After Red Flash really dies. Yeah, spoiler alert, alert, um, when Red Flash shows up in Batman Cave, after he kicks Batman's ass, he has to find the button and he gets transported somewhere. And what comes out was really, really creepy, really messed up. 
and awesome. Wait, you see the skeleton, right? I seen God! <laughs> and he dies. It's pretty cool. <laughs> like, this story is like, awesome. I really love that part. Um, what about the story? I'll get to my spoilers. Um, hmm. I, I know about, I don't think I know about the story. I think the return of a certain character that, that, well, I've been missing for a long time. And who's that? Well, Thomas Wayne Batman. No, I'm not kidding. Thomas Wayne Batman showed up and it's awesome. You see Thomas Wayne Batman boost. Wayne Batman at the media, it's pretty cool. I love that meeting. It's his benefit. I've been waiting for Tony Wayne Batman and Bruce Wayne Batman to meet each other ever since Flashpoint happened. It's pretty cool to see him again. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Um, speaking of it, you know, I do probably want to ask why I'm not talking about Reverse Flash. About that, Reverse Flash is kind of a, how can I say this? A conundrum, because you know, he. I can see that real good too much voice. You're probably wondering how he came out the life, life even after New 52. Well, about that. If you read the Flash, we were Flash comments recently. Um, we read Flash, yeah, what to say? That New 52 Red Flash, yeah, he's gone. He's away from existence. And thank God, the New 52 Red Flash sucked. I am so happy Josh was involved with the real Red Flash. And he's with, with Flash knowing everything, even about Flashpoint. It's pretty cool. I love it. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm gonna talk about more more getting to spoilers. More sp um, oh! There's the another time, another certain character who come back from that in the story. And guess who it is? Get! Get up! Jay Gap! The real Jay Gap! Doesn't it when you tell me Jay Gap came back? Yay! And awesome! But only for a few, you and then go the way. <laughs> Very depressing. But by what, by what happens to Jay Garrick back? I'm sorry to lose Jay Garrick, but I had to say, if two Jay Garrick and you put your Jay Garrick was so boring. Thank God you lose Jay Garrick fight back. Well, sort of. He's not back yet. Right? Paying all Jay Garrick, the lose Jay Garrick needs a running on. But who could that be? Hmm. I got I got to wait wait to see that when Doom in the car comes out. Um what time I'm gonna tell about this book. I think that's better I'm gonna see my spoilers. So look at my waiting. Alright, um with all that said, alright, fine and fox. Do I when you pick up the button? Um is your family gear of DC Reaper as a family to get your ongoing mystery story with the button and the whole Watchman connection, you'll love this book. And with Doomsday Guard coming out really soon, I recommend you, you read this story immediately. Tell me, you're telling me where you want to bet these Reaver comics, next to Superman, and Reborn, and next to some other Superman books. This book is amazing, I recommend it. Woo! Um, I gave, um, the button, jump up please, a 5 out of 5, perfection, A plus. It's a bad made to get a bad and Flash, buy this book. You have to make Tom King and Joshua Williamson. Buy this book. Tell me your thing already. You want the best DC Evil book of all time? I love the story. I can't wait to see nothing that. It's pretty June that coming up, baby. Woo! I can't wait. <laughs> oh, by the way, this book did end a cliffhanger, but it's really interesting. So, it's just way with the whole Dark Man stuff. I like to say, it's, it's really cool when you get to see something in your bottom. It's really cool. Anyway, John. That's my review of the. Button on direct position. Um, please don't comment on the You got about actually this um book. You like it, you read it. Also, what's the brand of, uh, of the button as a whole? Please comment below. Also, uh, I'm gonna pick the page ball on Twitter and freedom subscribe my channel. And touch my peace out. Along with the button, whoa, and along with Demon's Eye Claw. See ya. Bye. <laughs>